Welcome to the Trojan Windup. I'm your host, AJ Lawrence, and I'm going to give you the rundown on what went down during week 11 of USC's baseball season. The Trojans had Tuesday off this week. Then they hit the road to face the Oregon State Beavers. When the teams met up last season, USC took two of three at Dato Field. This would be another tough conference series on the road. Friday night, the Trojans made a change in the rotation, sending up Tyler Gilbert against Beavers ace Andrew Moore. Gilbert started out hot, striking out six of the first eight batters he faced. But with two outs in the third, Oregon State would get on the board with a solo home run by Caleb Hamilton. USC responded in the top of the fourth. Jeremy Martinez led off with a double, and Timmy Robinson singled him home. After a sacrifice by Dante Flores, Blake Lacey singled in another run. The Trojans had the lead 2-1. to one. In the top of the fifth, USC would get some more runs, the first by Angelo Labruna. Andrews 1-0 pitch, hit high in the air to left field and deep. No back back, and it's gone. And the Trojans' dugout erupts with joy. They are flying around, leading 3-1. to one. With a lot of baseball left to play, and you know, big weekend still ahead here. But they're going crazy in front of their dugout, much to the, I'm sure, chagrin, consternation of... It was the first collegiate home run for the senior. Stahl doubled to extend his hitting streak to 22 games. He moved up to third with two outs when Robinson stepped to the plate. That made it 4-1, to one, going to the bottom of the fifth. And in the seventh, the Trojans broke the game wide open. Martinez knocked in a run with a sacrifice fly, and Robinson doubled in another, his third RBI of the game. Robinson scored on a wild pitch to make it 7-1. to one. But USC wasn't done yet. Lacey singled, David Oppenheim was hit by a pitch, and Ramirez walked, loading the bases for LaBruna. The deep fly ball off the wall cleared the bases, and the Trojans had a 10-1 lead. Meanwhile, Gilbert was dealing, giving up just four hits and striking out 10 through seven innings. The Trojans added a run in the eighth on a ground out by Flores. The Beavers managed to score two in their half of the eighth, but USC's offense was too much as the Trojans took game one by a score of 11-3. Saturday would be another elite pitching matchup as the Trojans' Kyle Toomey would square off against the Beavers' Drew Rasmussen. Rasmussen threw a perfect game against the Cougars a month earlier. The first perfect game the conference had seen in over 40 years. The Beavers would strike first. Catcher Dale Lund would hit a one-out triple in the first and come in to score on a bunt by Jeff Hendricks. In the third, Oregon State would get a two-out walk to Hamilton. Then singles by Lund and Hendricks to score again, making it two to nothing. Rasmussen gave up just two hits through the first five innings, but in the top of the sixth, the offense broke through. With one out, Stubbs singled, stole second, and Martinez singled. Robinson came up with the first USC run, followed by another hit by Flores. Four straight hits, and the Trojans had tied the game at two. The Trojans would have a chance to take the lead in the ninth after Oppenheim worked a leadoff walk. But a foul out and fly out by Stahl ended the threat. Stahl would end the day 0 for 5, snapping his hitting streak. In the bottom of the inning, the Beavers got a leadoff walk of their own by Lund. And Hendricks, he sacrificed him to the second. And after a walk pinch hitter, Billy King delivered the game-winning hit to right off Kyle Davis. Oregon State had a 3-2 win, and the series was tied at a game apiece. Sunday, USC would start Mitch Hart against the Beavers' Travis Eckert, and both pitchers would struggle with their command. USC would load the bases in the third, but failed to score. In the bottom of the inning, Oregon State would score two on a bunt single, a pair of walks, and a hit batter. But in the fourth, the Trojans would take the lead. Singles by Robinson and Flores got things started. Then a pair of walks would score a run. Next up was A.J. Ramirez. Yeah. 
That brought in the tying run, and it moved Lacey up to third with just one out. Next up was Reggie Southhall, and the squeeze play was on. A batter later, Stubbs would knock in a run on a sack fly, and the Trojans had a 4-2 lead. It wouldn't last for long, though, as Wildness would knock Hart from the game in the fourth. Two singles coupled with four walks led to four Oregon State runs, and the Beavers would retake the lead 6-4. Hart ended his day with just two hits, but six walks and a hit batter. The Beavers would continue to add on, scoring single runs in the sixth and seventh. But in the top of the eighth, USC would put together a rally. Flores and Lacey would reach on one-out singles. Then a two-out walk to pinch hitter David Edson brought the tying run to the plate. Unfortunately, South Hall was unable to come through, striking out to end the inning. Another insurance run by Oregon State took the game to the ninth, with USC trailing 9-4. to four. But the scrappy Trojans still had three outs left, and they were going to make the most of it. Stahl led off with a single, then Stubbs doubled into right field corner to score a run. Martinez followed with a walk, and the Beavers went to their closer, Mitch Hickey. Hickey struck out Robinson on a pitch in the dirt, but it got away from Lund, and Stubbs scored. It was as close as USC would get, though. As a pair of ground outs ended the game, Oregon State won 9-6, and the Trojans had lost their second series of the season. This week, USC goes up against Cal State Fullerton for a second time this season. Back in February, the Trojans defeated the Titans on their own territory, 6-4. This Tuesday, they're at Dado Field. USC then heads to Salt Lake City for a three-game series against Utah. Last season, the Trojans blasted the Utes, taking the series. They also dealt a then-season-high 19 hits in the final game against Utah. The Trojans could post another record-setting series this time. We'll have to see. The first game starts Friday at 6 p.m. Pacific. You can catch it on the Pac-12 network. Thanks for watching the Trojan Windup. I'm AJ Lawrence, and you can catch us here every week. Fight on.